Here we are at our 2011 Monterey M3. This is a 25 foot open bow bow rider sport boat for sale here on Norris Lake. There's no trailer with this one. This is equipped with a 5.7 liter 300 horsepower Volvo Penta. Stern drive, inboard outboard engines. Got a dual prop out drive. It's currently showing about 356 hours on it. See, we've got docking lights here at your bow, as well as a um, swim boarding ladder. This is a one owner boat. It's been kept here under a covered slip on a lift. Here at a private dock on Norris Lake. It does have a Great Lakes boat top, snap-in cockpit and bow cover. Got a three step swim boarding ladder here hanging over the side that does fold up to this hatch here. Here's your dual prop out drive. Got sea deck decking, this foam decking on your uh, integrated swim platform. This one's rated for 11. We've got a uh, basically a dual bimini top. I've got both bimini tops attached right now. The second half will come off and stow away. I'm going to have some photos of it with the second part both stowed away and uh, man out extended like it is right now. We've got some nice pop-up cleats throughout the boat. There's your. transom door, transom walkthrough door. You've got a pull out wash down faucet right there. On, there is a small onboard fresh water tank. And it's a really cool little hatch here. This is basically just a ski or board locker. A lot of space down there. There's one, two, three, about four pairs of skis, a wakeboard and a kneeboard down there. And it's right where you need it if you're doing water sports. It's nice to have access to your gear right here on the swim platform where you're going to hop in the water at. should also point out that there is a, a new, brand new set of snapping carpeting that is not yet installed in the boat. This is the original carpeting on the boat now. So we've got a small built-in sink here right behind your captain's seat. Folds up like so. away you've got a built-in waste bin really nice feature to have on the boat we've got an MB court AM FM CD USB auxiliary uh, stereo there's your battery switch right here and you can see that extension cord going in the engine hatch I'm actually charging the uh, one of the dual batteries right now. So you've got dual batteries and a battery switch. We've got a built-in cooler storage right here. That seat's on a hinge so you can easily pop it up, get into that cooler compartment. We've got dual bolster seats, meaning both your driver's seat and your passenger seat. You can flip up that bolster and help you see over the steering wheel. MB court speakers throughout. There's a self woofer right here at the driver's seat. Got a rear view uh, mirror right here. This is just stowed away because you got to take that off uh, in order to cover it. That just goes on your mounts on your windshield there. And you've got your auxiliary input for the stereo right here. You know what I think I said that was a USB and auxiliary input that is just an auxiliary input and it's right next to a 12 volt power outlet right here so that is a handy feature to have at your driver station uh, there's your engine oil pressure engine water temperature trim gauge depth finder that's your tachometer with built-in hour meter and your speedometer battery bolts and fuel gauge over here this uh, this stereo uh, uh, remote is currently not working but you're using that auxiliary jack you're going to have it right here handy at your driver's seat. We've also got a tilt uh, steering wheel. Um, let's see, you do have a powered engine hatch 
I'm going to go ahead and raise that. Well, before I raise that up, let me just slide this snap-in carpeting back so it'll be out of the way. And then we'll go ahead and raise that up. That powered hatch is a very nice feature to have. But before I do that, let me switch batteries. Now that powered hatch should raise right up. Let's go to both batteries. skipping that part of the video tour today. Let me revisit that in a moment. Let me let that battery charge. I just raised and lowered it for photos, so that is why the batteries are being charged. All right, here across from your uh, captain station, you've got a small dry box. And then this is your head compartment. Now, there is a mount for a porta potty there, right there where that center bumper is laying. You get a built-in drain here on the floor, and they're just using this as storage right now. Porta potty can mount right in there. Now, also like you've got windscreen here, and then you've got some additional storage in here. Really like this. Uh, that slotted storage is for uh, your additional cushions and a table. Table I've got mounted just in front of the uh, engine compartment right now. Got a built-in MB Quartz amplifier and a Roswell marine amplifier as well. All right, and then you can see I've also got the bow filler cushion in place right now. I'm gonna lift that out of place. And I'm gonna use one of these integrated slots right here that I was just talking about. So that's one hand one-handed operation sliding that filler cushion in place right there and that's stowed away and right there where you want it when you need it so your uh, your removable table mount will go there and you can have that table either here in the back of the boat or up here in the bow all right you've got a built-in cooler underneath this seat here which can also, as you can see, easily be removed. Because if you're going in and out over the bow, it's really nice to not step on your seat right there. It's gonna save that cushion. And then of course, here is your three-step swim boarding ladder and a anchor storage here built in in the bow. All right, we've also got removable cushions here in the bow. We'll open up. And you've got some more leg room up there if you're seated and you're not using that as a sun lounge. Both sides are going to do that. And again, this extra cushion will stow away underneath your driver's seat there. So, you know, it's nice to have all this versatility. Because depending on how you're using the boat, you might, you might not want these seats filled in. It might be uh, nice to have the ability to stow those cushions away especially if you're using that table there to make it easier to get around that table. Alright, let's see if our batteries are charged enough to raise this engine hatch. I don't think it is. Might have to check the power on that. Might just have to refer to our uh, photos at the website to, to see the uh, engine compartment. I also want to point out there's an additional 12 volt power outlet right here behind your captain's seat. So. Here's your tower speakers, those are Roswell tower speakers. And I'm gonna go ahead and hop off the boat and do a close up around the exterior for you. I believe I showed you that dual prop out drive already. We've got a small little nick in the fiberglass right here. And that's about all I've noticed on this one. Very clean, one owner, freshwater boat. Got a nice stainless bow plate. There's your built-in docking lights. I think I mentioned those. Visit the website www.yournewboat.com. Click the Find Your New Boat tab and scroll down. You can see all of our inventory and order of price. A little bit of a, a rubber mark right there. It does not appear to be into the fiberglass. Probably just rubber from a bumper. 
Again, that website's gonna have the current asking price. We don't mention those in the video tour because those will often change throughout a listing. Click to find your new boat button and just scroll down. Do you see the 2011 Monterey M3? You'll see the price right there and then of course you can click into that listing for more info. Oh, and I almost for, uh, neglected to mention, there is a, uh, this seat here, this aft um, built-in aft seat and uh, lounge seat has a powered, um, basically a powered feature that will raise and lower that seat. Um, again, on account of those uh, uh, batteries needing a charge today, it's it's about halfway in between being extended and being raised up. Uh, there is a uh, you can pull the pin and do that manually. Uh, also do it here with the uh, power assistant so that's a nice feature and, and again we're gonna have photos of this Sun lounge at the website because I've manually pulled that pin and laid it down and you'll see how this seat will just extend give you a large Sun lounge here and that might be an instance where you want to raise this uh, extra uh, back bimini you might stow it away so you can get some Sun in that lounge there if you've got someone in the family that likes likes having a lot of a lot of place to stretch out in the sun and the bow is not big enough for them. A little bit of a marking here on the sea decking. And um, I consider that to still be in good condition though. So again, visit the website www.yournewboat.com for the full list of features for this one and the current asking price. Contact us through the website for any, with any questions. Thank you very much for joining us.